Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the scatter plot chart within the ggplot and make it enhanced one as compared to your base chart. So scatter plot as you know is basically shows the information in a dots or in a points on the two numerical axes which provides a very meaningful information about how these two axes or two different columns are related. So let's see uh, the data set related to it. Since we will going to work on the ggplot package, let's import it. So library ggplot2. So once we do that, uh, we have the library. Now let's look at the data sets which are available in it. So let's use the command try and within that data and package equals to ggplot2. So once we enter the command, we have uh, the data sets like economics, economics long, midwest and all. So let's look at economics data and uh, by going into view economics. So once we have the economics it has date. It's basically a monthly date. Uh, it's PCE, POP, PSV, ERD, all these different columns which are cod coded. So if you want to know about it you can put question mark and say economics and let's see what they are saying so it's basically uh, the format of it is a date for uh, these are basically the format of the columns so date is basically the month of data collection PSAVERT which is this it is a personal saving rate PCE is personal consumption expenditure and similarly POP is total population in thousand and this is unemployment median and this is unemployment. All right, so first of all, uh, the very simple command to create the scatter plot is let's start with that ggplot, sp specify the data set, which is economics. And within the AES aesthetics, let's specify X and Y level. So let's take first of all, uh, maybe here in this case, unemployment, un e m p l o y. And on the y-axis, let's take an employee median, U, E, M, P, M, E, D. All right, so that's the basic structure. Now the now we want need to add the, the kind of chart we want to create. So G, E, U, M underscore point. So once we do that, we'll hit enter. So it's saying that I have made some mistake specifying the numerical column. So un, U, M. U N E M P E M P L O Y should be okay now. So once we do that, shows us uh, the chart over here, which is a scatter chart. On the x axis, you have unemployment, and on the y axis, you have the median time when somebody was unemployed. So as you can see, when the unemployment is increasing, their median time of uh, remaining unemployed is also increasing so it's by default I mean that's the thing we usually uh, look we usually observe from the data that uh, when the economy is not doing really good people are uh, unemployed at a large level and for a longer period of time because the economy takes a lot of time to recover and so that you can get the jobs or the businesses back so that you can run or get employed again all right, so that's the basic thing that we can do. Uh, the next thing maybe uh, what we can do is, since it is a time series data, the data is distributed over time. Let's say we want to uh, see it for particular years, maybe last three years. So currently uh, it is 2000 until 2015. So 1st April 2015 uh, data is available over here. And let's say we want to get the year information from or the last three years information from this data. Maybe here in this case, the 2013, 14 and 15. So to do that, uh, let's first see how you can get the only year part of it. So for that, what you can do is uh, first of all, create the another data set. So economics underscore scatter just for the scatter chart and now we can add uh, the, in the this data set economics economics now we have entire data set within the economics underscore scatter now let's 
trying to get economics underscore scatter dollar year so we are here creating a new variable as a year over here so what we can do here in this case uh, we need to fetch the information from from this uh, particular column for the years so the command for doing that is you need to specify numeric and then the format uh, format and then the date column so economics dollar date and then percentage y in capital so what you are doing is basically you are saying that just get the year information and convert it into a numeric format so once you hit enter and you see the view economics economics score scatter hit enter you have the year information so for 1967 you got this data and the same is for rest of the years and this this basically makes this makes it more handy to use it in the front end let's say we just want to filter it by 2013 14 15 so we don't really have to you know write those complex uh, nested commands which which takes this data back and use it like format like this but a simple one so let's see first of all the structure of new to make sure that we have the right information yeah as expected here is mentioned as number but maybe one thing uh, that is required is once it is an aggregated data sometimes we want to do the analysis on the years and all so you may want to convert it on the factor so that's let's see it uh, as part of a later stage but maybe here uh, as the uh, interest of the the last three years analysis let's take the last three years data so economics underscore last three year maybe and then we can we need to specify the three years information in such a way that it only fetches the data for last three years so to do that what you can do is you can first you need to first take the economics economics underscore scatter and within that you need to specify which and saying economics underscore scatter dollar year equals to equals to let's say 2013 pipe sign to indicate or and saying economics score scatter dollar year is equals to 2014 again pipes to indicate or condition economics score scatter dollar year is equals to equals to 2015 and we are good here put a comma and it should give us the last three years data so if i see now economics in this last three year all right so we have 2013 2014 and 2015 data so that's how you can sub, uh, subset your data set using the which command or the which function and specifying or or either and to satisfy your condition now let's fill our uh, use the uh, last three year information or the data set to see the data points all right so gg plot and saying uh, economics underscore last three year aes and within the aes let's we use un un em u m p m e d and u m u n e m p l o y plus g e o m underscore point so once you hit it all right i made a mistake again u a u e u e m e d so now it is showing us the last three information the next thing let's say we may want to do is uh, differentiate the points by looking at by uh, displaying the number of year so for that what we can do is we can say fill is equals to year once we do that it does not show a very good information why because currently it is formatted as numeric however to display it in a good way you need to have it in a factor 
so that's the main thing i wanted to show you so what we can do is we can convert it into this one dollar year is equals to as dot factor and then saying economics underscore three l three dollar year and now if we see the structure of the data set we will see the um, economics is good three over here we have the factor with three levels 2013 14 and finally the 15 so let's run our last command for filling by the year and now it is showing it in a proper way and if you want to zoom it we can zoom it <coughs> though the colors are not uh, very uh, properly displayed so you can change uh, their color properties and all or maybe increase the size for this or if you want to change the shape what you can do is you can specify the shape here in the geom underscore point so you can say shape is equals to let's say 20 maybe so nothing must changed maybe let's try 21 yeah there is some change in the shape it's coming like a circle so if you want to know more about the shape what we can do is yeah i'm i'm able to see maybe you are not able to see it because it is very less so what we can do is we can put a question mark geom underscore point and there must be a size parameter to specify the size or to change the shape and all that so like this you have shape you have size so maybe uh let's say make it size is equals to five let's try to see that what happens over there now it is properly displayed so as you can see though i was aware about size but i wanted to show you how you can utilize the help and make parameter uh, more meaningful by looking into it so like this now you are clearly able to see that okay this is quite orange this is green and here it is green and here you have blue so in 2015 so so far we have the data till april and that's why it is very reduced whereas if we see for 2013 it was quite high and 2014 entire year was pretty much in the mid range for unemployed data range so that's how you can make a more meaningful um more meaningful uh, outcome from your chart by making it more visually appealing and interpretable for the end user the other things that you can do is uh, adding the title or themes or the uh, changing the the y-axis name or x-axis name with the help of uh, labs function labs and uh, here you can specify what you need on the x-axis or what you need on the y-axis if you don't know about it what you can do is you can question mark it, say labs and here when you say labs you can say x is equals to this and y is equals to any other thing so let's try to do that plus labs x is equals to uh, we have median unemployed time and y is equals to we have total unemployment so once you hit enter you get a more meaningful as compared to the name of your variable so that's you can uh, make it more and more meaningful about your chart and make and keep adding the functions to make it more interactive last thing or maybe last thing from the video perspective but not from the ggplot perspective because you can do a lot of stuff so about the theme so if you want to add the theme like t-h-e-m-e -E, theme underscore b-w you can add it and it will keep on changing i have been telling you from last so many videos but the whole point is that you get used to of it and uh, and don't if you are watching only this video then you can get it about how you can change the theme so a lot of options you have 
uh, when you are changing the theme like this line draw theme set update and all if you want more you need to basically go in and import the library gg plot gg themes once i do that i can add even more themes so if you see now my options have increased a lot 538 i was trying to get it earlier but it was not present in the base theme so themes which are part of base package gg plot it is mentioned here themes which are part of gg themes is present here like theme underscore calc let's see what it gives so like this so that's how you can uh, change the theme and make your chart more beautiful.